Now with all those questions about the richest painting sale ever, $450 million for the last Da Vinci in private hands. So who is the mystery buyer? Is it really a masterpiece? TJ Holmes on the case. George, I said to you yesterday, probably a billionaire that bought it. And your response to me was, well, duh. <laughs> but the, uh, <laughs> the idea there is that it's probably not a museum that was able to pull, up to, pull together that much money. So it's probably an individual, but this is not a garden variety billionaire, whoever it is. And this has now set off an international process of elimination. Mm. Yeah. And the piece is sold. We just got to know who? Who was not only able, but willing to write a $450 million check for the painting known as The Last Da Vinci? Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi sold for the eye-popping record amount this week. Confidentiality agreements prevent the auction house from revealing the identity of the buyer. So the world is left to speculate. Could it be an American, a Saudi prince, a Chinese billionaire? Whoever it was, the buyer was apparently a cool customer on the phone during the auction. The buyer was rather calm for bidding this kind of um, money. Some speculate Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is the new owner. With a net worth of $95 billion, he certainly has the cash. We reached out to Amazon, no comment. Before it went up for auction, 27,000 people waited in line to view the painting. But you can probably rule this guy out as the new owner. With an estimated net worth of just half the paintings, Leonardo can't afford this Leonardo. Whoever bought the painting had to be okay with the current conjecture circulating that this masterpiece may not even be the real deal. I'm completely convinced that it's by Leonardo. Diane Dwyer Modestini has been tasked with restoring the painting on and off since 2005, working countless painstaking hours to carefully refurbish the artifact, assuring us it is 100% authentic. I studied it for a very long time, together with Robert Simon, who was you know, acting as its sort of art historian advisor, who was doing scholarly research on it, having some technical analysis done, comparing it with other paintings by Leonardo. We were both absolutely convinced. So does she know who the lucky buyer is? I only hope that whoever bought it is going to put it in a museum. Mm. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. Why would you buy it if there are questions about it? So let's explain why there are questions. Put this thing up, the male Mona Lisa, all right? It's Jesus holding an orb there. So look at the right hand. They, have, they saw what's called in an x-ray a, a pentimento. Look at his right What's hand. That? A where, pentimento? Yes, it, it's called an earlier painting essentially under it, where he made a mistake with the thumb and moved oh. the thumb to a different place. So why would you do that unless you were doing the original painting? So that's a sign. Look at the face as well. They say this, the kind of smoky features of that face or something that's a da Vinci thing. But this is not a da Vinci thing. The reflection of the light in the orb is not something that da Vinci, they say this is a mistake he would not have made. The reflection of the light in that orb is not right. So huh. there are questions there. Look, Christie's is saying absolutely. The consensus is that this is da Vinci. But if you got any questions and you're still writing a $450 million <laughs> check, you got cash well, lying any around. Questions. I that no comment from Jeff Bezos was kind of interesting. It is interesting, and it would be interesting to get it on American soil. There's only one da Vinci out of the fewer than 20 in the world that's mm. on American soil. It's in D.C. So to have it here, we're going to find out who it is yeah. in this yeah. age of social media. And whoever bought it, you're not going to put this over your fireplace. All right, you want people <laughs> to be able to enjoy this all right? for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.